Yeah, you said it. This might get a little bit scrappy in Ariel. He's already out. He's already going to take shots. P250 headshot onto Kerrigan. Yeah, it's looking good. Nice opening, but his teammates are taking things a little bit more chill. The Ivy push has been neutralized, and Ariel still doing damage, still causing problems from Hell. That's going to be very confusing for Mouseports, who have now, well, soon they'll realize the bomb's about to go down, but not on A. It's going to be on B. So that's quite the rotation. Sergey is going to have a big role to play, making sure he pounces at the right moment. If they're aggressive, if they find this kill and push onto the bomb site quickly enough, it could be all over. But they're taking damage, and they're not going fast. Ooh. Olu misses his chance, and Sergey now from behind. The Assassin. Yeah, at least he's able to claim that kill. X7 on the bomb site doing a lot of damage. The stick and there comes the knife and he Oh well it's okay, he's gonna steal that. Deny the knife, but who cares? The round is won by Ents. And here we go. This is the initial tag, and Alu gonna try and create space and be a force with this Mac 10. Yeah, they're really close though with these pistols, Mouse Sports. The Mouse Sports seem very well prepared. Yeah, I think I think Ents gave up the game a little bit. Th that presence outside was not nearly effective enough. And now coming back to inside, Mouse Sports, you're exactly right, has a perfect read. Ariel with the AK-47. No one has been shown yet from the Mouse Sports side. They're trying to find him, but look how disciplined Mouse Sports is being on this bomb train. Ariel's gonna find one. The patience eventually wavers, and that's a double kill with the AK-47. Rops though, they don't clear him out. Oh, he's got both! He stopped the plant! It's a three on two, and Sergey, Alu, they have no HP. It's all onto this flank. Oh my god, Robs. It feels like when he is in his POV, he has twice the amount of time. The time slows down for Robs. That were, that were pretty frightening to watch. Chris J tossing a nade out. Oh, that's oh. a great shot. A spectacular one, Deke, from Alu. See Sonny there in the smoke. He's going to pop out towards E-Box. He's found some space, getting closer. But Carrigan's able to spot it out in time. And Woxic back at, it, back at it again with the scout. He has been spotted. And actually, they're gaining some ground here with these pistols. There are actually problems, but time is of the essence. Can they get the bomb down? It's on the ground at this point. Frozen wrapping around the bomb train. That's a fantastic transfer. But it's 1v1. 19 seconds to go for Sergey. Well, if Rops finds this before he's around the train, Rops knows everything. Rops is going to get the angle to stop him from getting the plant down. Sergey still has no idea. He's out in the open, and that's Rops with the final kill, but an expensive victory for Mouse Sports. Ivy and have the bomb towards that position at the moment. May want to dig in one player. And oh my god, Ariel's actually just gone for it straight down the round, trying to take a challenge here. Quick rotation comes through, and Ariel's going to be very disappointed. He didn't get something out of that. He actually had a good timing. He had the element of surprise, but couldn't convert. But he did cause a rotation, which maybe ends can abuse. We can see them now moving through the Ivy position. They have found an opening. Oh, that's a great shot from X7. The problem is Alu with the AWP. Still also dropped on ladder room. He wants to be involved in Woxic. Gonna hold the angle. He knows where the bomb is as well. It's right in front of him, and he's gonna give it up for the moment. Sergey about to turn the corner. Could be a big fight to win. They still have no idea. Frozen, they found him. That's a big kill to grab. Three on two as Woxic wraps around to a new angle. 30 seconds to go for that plant, and there it is. And Ali is very ready for Robs covering the ladder position. He's keeping that eye of the angle at such a strong position, and he gets the connection, of course. He's so quick, and that's that extra little bit of damage he was looking for. Trying to get Alu posted up for a rotation. And there it is, down ladder very quick. Frozen is traded off, a one for one, and now Sport's gonna press the issue. They're gonna try and apply the pressure. Good hold for Kerrigan. Robs drops down immediately, X7's got a double. This is a play and a half from Sonny. They're going to have no clue what hit him. Chris J is a free kill. Headshot to boot. As he scoped in there. Oh, Alice just started to move and Woxic gets caught by Ali, so he will not be able to save the AWP at this point, and no one really able to take it back. It's a committed play to go forwards, and Rops is ready for it. Chris J is ready for it. But how much damage can they do? Rops from below, looking clinical as ever, gets a double to his name, and Chris J is still alive. Rops gets three, still alive somehow. The Deagle comes out, and Ali is able to trade, but the cost is surely too great. But maybe not, because here he is. Flank still being watched. It's a stalemate. Frozen turns the corner, wins that battle. Now it's definitely all on Alu. And he spots that player just a little bit late. Coming back for the bomb and still 30 seconds on the clock. And Frozen just backs off. Alu, I think he's out of options here. There's nowhere to go. He's even had a player move up close. An angle he won't expect. Over towards Spindles. There's the pounce. Walks it, gets the final kill. He can pick up and convert into an AWP. There's a battle about to come. Sergey gonna try it clear out. Oh my god, I cannot believe he just hit that <laughs> shot. Woxic didn't even have a chance to respond, and we know how quick he is. That's disgusting. Sergey now gonna drop down ladder and they've gained position outside. Yeah, Chris Jay playing behind the smoke there. Sonny will make his presence known from Ivy. Carrigan helplessly locked away by that smoke. Chris Jay having to do everything from the side by himself. Wondering what's going on here because the bomb is yet to be planted and it's just Ents waiting it out. They're waiting for the move. 
and they found it. They've taken down Robs. It's all on Carrigan now as he looks to wrap around the train. It all just barely missing a play. He's in amongst them, but there's really nothing to do. Sergei takes him down. Woksik's there with an orb, and Chris Jay's picked up that second orb. And Woksik, fantastic opener. Sonny with that shot, might come through the smoke, might hear the reload, almost punished. Woksik under a lot of pressure. Chris J, the second AWP is rotating over, and Sonny, he's going to get trucked from the side. X7, he might be able to get the drop on one of these CTs here. We've got, of course, Carrigan up on top of the green, very close by. X7 doesn't seem to be able to see him just yet. Is he checking? Oh my god, the timing of this is absolutely brutal for X7. And finally, Carrigan appears, and that's the bomb down on the ground. The smoke dropped to just make it worse. Yeah, but I mean, X7 got Walksick far back with the AWP, so there's at least that. Carrigan goes one more. Aerial falls, Chris J adds in with the up. I don't think they can salvage that. This looks like an aggressive take of these box halls, and Rops wants to meet him with aggression of his own. Ooh, that's a great headshot. Over the smoke, Sergey's gonna get the trade. So this is a beautiful movement from Mouse Sports. Well, Chris J, we're gonna have to see what he's made up with the AWP. He's been spotted out. Good first kill. Oh, can't connect with the second one. He might be in danger. He drops down a narrow corridor, and that one's gonna be easy. Double kill, and there's the third kill from the AWPs on Mouse Sports. Chris just needs to stay alive. And Sergey, there's not a whole lot he can do. So many angles to check. Frozen's going to take him down 8-6 to six in the favor of Mouse Sports. The game is given up. He's going to destroy these choke points with fire. Rops looking towards lower ramp. There's one up above. Oh, and that's a great timing of the peaks. Yeah, it did not work out very well. Carrigan, though, in the mix with that org of his. X7 will take him down, so it seems like the most unlikely round might be the one that Ents are able to secure as Woxic and Frozen have now arrived onto the scene. Woksik just scanning around to see what he can find, and he always sees the barrel. Easy free kill for Woksik, but what else can he find? There are players, there are players that could be lurking anywhere. Sergey goes down, my goodness, what is happening? Woksik picks up another one, and now it's just on to Alu again with the Galil. One versus two, at least he'll get two 1v1s, but Frozen nails it. That's a, enough time. that's a two versus four retake. The attack into the outer yards. They're looking ready by camera, but the smoke's the fire causing problems, but maybe not enough problems because the headshots, the kills are coming in in favor of Ensi. The bomb will get planted. That's the Krieg money guaranteed at least. Let's see what else Mousewolves can do in this 3v4. Well, you can see Ariel with one more Sunny on top of the train, and yeah, it's all over from there. So you have to, you, have, you can't just go full Kriegs. That's a painful nade that Kerrigan takes. He's just trying to cause a distraction. So many bodies towards the inner bombsite. He wants to find one kill, and he's almost going to do it, but he gets spammed down. That's unfortunate. Sergey, big job to do. Smoke goes out, pre-fire, but Alu's rotated back to slow down this hit. That's going to be the bomb down to the lower ramp. And look at the position from Sergey. Right behind Pop Dog. there's nothing that they can do to clear him out. Even with the Kriegs, it's going to be such a tough angle. And he doesn't have to challenge. He can wait until they're committed, but the Kriegs actually doing work towards sidewalk, and Sergey misses his opportunity. They should still be able to recover. And Sonny indeed will, but that was dangerous. Typical way to start things out. Ants want to gain that forward control, especially with the weapons that they have. And Chris J, oh my goodness. Mouse Force are moving so slowly. Ants do have a moment, a timing to maybe go forwards. And Rob's just playing, toying with Ariel. He might actually get the better of him up and down the ladder of Sergey. Oh my god, Rob's is ready for it all. And he's looking to spam down Ariel, just keeping the attention of him in the ladder room. And there goes the Molotov. There's nowhere for Ariel to go. He's just stuck in that position. Rob's. It's a slow death, it seems, for Ariel. He's still alive somehow, I don't know. Sonny's alone on the bomb train, doing what he can. Some 1v1s, but it's just simply too much. And Ariel does inevitably die. <laughs> Rops is so good in this position. Sergey's gonna have a big job too. They're gonna creep out upper, but Alu's here. If he gets, the oh no, oh. that timing is so unfortunate. Alu is gonna be real frustrated if when he watches this one back. They hit something perfect, and that is nightmare fuel for Ents. Alu, forced back, great recovery, but a better trade from Woksik. It's going to be very hard to fight their way forwards. See Sonny <laughs> being toyed with there, and that's going to be the end of him, giving Woksik all the space he needs to hit that shot. And Double nades in towards Team It. Again, just pistols for Ents. They have not been able to fight for these rounds, and that is so crushing this late in the, in the map. That's a good kill for X7 to get. And, and Ents now, they have the man advantage, but Mouse Sports haven't actually taken advantage of any of the information. Yeah, Sonny's made a, an interesting push. I don't, I mean, he might actually, he's going to catch Rops here, isn't he? Oh, is Rops turning around? Oh, well, it looks like Sonny will get the kill regardless. X7 on top of green is doing some damage as well. He's been spotted, but it's a hard position to deal with sometimes, although if you're directly below, that is helpful. Ariel now finds Chris J, but he can just try to take his attention away, play for time here. 
Although, it looks like he's been absolutely outmaneuvered, it seems. Bamboozled. Chris J, they swing wide on him, and he can't get the second. But there's Woxic for the trade, and he was so clutch in the last series. He has no idea. Sonny's in the same spot. 12 to 10, Ents pull out a miracle. A weakened outside defense, but the hit comes towards inner. You could not be more prepared for a push like this. Mouse Force will be charging up side alley. The flashbang's really causing problems. I've got no idea what the hell happened to Sergey there, but he goes down, and Mouse Force have position. And again, Ents were so well set up. X7 will come through Z trying to find a duel, but there's so many players to worry about dodging back and just between the trains causing issue. Alu, they're working around oil, but he is again the last man standing. I feel like Alu is just in so many frustrating positions with the AWP this half. And it only gets worse for Ents, so we'll see what else they can do. I'm looking to try to close this one down, but Ents still has something to say about it. We see no inner presence coming in from Mouse Balls, actually. Quite a lot of focus around Lather, and Karrigan has gone for the push again. He's found a connection onto Ariel around Sandwich. Oh, hello. Finds one on top of the green as well. Able to take him down. Karrigan <laughs> is on quite the killing spree. Pushing forward, taking control of the outside bomb yard all by himself. Three kills. When will this guy stop leading by example? Carrigan with the creep finally taken down, but he is, he's left a wake of destruction. <laughs> and Frozen knew exactly what the next step was for Sonny. Up the ladder, but you're right. The captain takes the reins, opens up the outer bomb site by himself. I don't even know if Sergey's going to go for this. Could be the final round. It's a scrappy buy for Ents. And Mouseball stopped fooling around. Carrigan's at it again, but he doesn't get quite so lucky this time. Yeah, this time it's a little bit crazy. Doesn't want to go for the duel. At least not yet. What a peak. What a heads-up duel to win. Woksik now firing shots in from Team Mid. Oh, man. Woksik, he just devours his opponents. <gasps> Let's play from Rops. Oh, this is going to be awkward. If he can catch it, now he needs to back away. No HP for that fight. Let's some attention. Oh, my God. He wins that battle. Finds the instant headshot onto Sergey. And now Sonny has to rotate, and he is very far away. This is going to be a very flat finish for Sonny, I'm afraid to say, and Wolfsick is the one to take him down. 16 to 10, Mouse Sports pick up the first map of the Grand Finals. And it's going to be a tough one, but we're into the pistol round, and it's going to be carnage, it seems, straight up middle, just taking the aim battles. That's unbelievable. Just the confidence coming out of Mouse Sports there to run up mid, you just never see this. And a pistol round, forcing Ents all the way back to the site and to this two-man arch setup. Oh, there's just such a staggered defense going on, and it is decimating Mouse Sports. Even a team kill, they're wreaking havoc on the attack. It's just Woxic, one versus four. He's got players everywhere to go up against, looking for the response, but not connecting any shots. And he's surely going to go down as soon as they turn the corner. One kill goes as well. I don't know how he's still alive. He is a god. He's got a second kill. I don't think he can do this, and there's finally Sergey to put him down. Looks like Kerrigan and Frozen are going to be very aggressive in pressuring the B-bomb site, but Alu's got to pick up mid. Peaking a second before that smoke plumes, and that's a mistake. Yeah, that's really annoying. Is there a flashbang to be had for a burst out of the smoke? Chris is going to stand it as a... Oh my god, he's trying to punish the reload there. And Rops is going to go down as well, Sonny, with that UMP now Frozen. Really sure exactly where he's going to get his value from. Going back to find the players flanking. Just barely missing the timing there. Finds at least a single kill, but great round from Ents. Which shouldn't be an issue with this team. And that's a great shot from Alu. Frozen trying to get creative, trying to get aggressive. An individual play, but designed. And it doesn't pan out. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a problem. But they do have beautiful back on. There's no third player to assist just yet. Carrigan going with the forward timing. Trying to catch them off guard before any smokes are coming. next. Seven's blind, but the spray will still connect to Carrigan. And now three players, that's all that's left here for Mouse Sports as they assault the site. And now rotation's coming in as well. Alu is coming through to construction soon enough. And they are buying so much time on the site. Out they go. Ropso with the 2K. Critically weak now, all alone. But still finding damage, but he can't find the kill. Surely <laughs> a punish will come in, but he holds it. And maybe there's a chance. Oh my god. There's no way. He's got too low of health, and he's boxed in now. There's nades. There's two Molotovs. He's never going to get around this corner again. Certainly, they put the fire down in his face, and he's got to back away. They're going to defuse this. Nothing Rops can do. Now he just needs to try and hold on to the weapon, see what else he can take away. I don't think it's should chase either. That was great. Alu going to go for a late peak. Woksik, he stands up, and it's just narrowly past his ear. Good opening kill from Kerrigan, and he's going to build once again. Just like Train, he's taking control. Finally, he goes down to X7. Who's going to stand tall? Who's going to pre-spray? 
And oh somehow Mattens is just barely holding onto the beat bomb site, a three on three scenario. And it's the balcony pop with the flashbang for the assist. Oh, that destroys Ariel. That destroys him entirely. He doesn't even realize one's gotten past. Chris J, an entry. This is a bold play from the Opper. Tags him through the box, but not a whole lot of damage. Almost transfers over. A sidestep from Rops. And even Woxic is hunting already. X7, gonna back away to the B bomb site. Outsports is doing a great job in Banana these past two rounds. If they keep this up, Kerrigan minding his timing into the ball. Oh. That's a huge opening kill. That's incredible. They haven't been able to stop him. They haven't been able to shut him down whatsoever. He's going to keep going forward. The Kree giving him confidence. Another headshot for Kerrigan. Another entry for Kerrigan. He is a beast. He's turned it on. Into the bomb site we go. And ends. that's a force up off the saved weapons. And they just have to back off again. Yeah, especially with someone like Chris J. Because... You know, when you like, you spend a while like talking about the different mouseballs players. Ariel has such a big job to do. It's a slow peek from Chris. That's gonna make it easy, but he can't double up. Woxic is so incredibly quick, and he is not the guy you want to face. But somehow Sergey finds a perfect peek onto that position. The man knows his angles. That's to be sure. As Carrigan will take him down the tray through from X7 though, as he'll rotate through the apps, and it's Rob's on the bottom side. If it was just Rob's alone, I'd still pass favor <laughs> mouseballs in this situation. But Frozen's there too. There's a kid on X7. They can do this. Frozen playing inside the smoke. A timer on this play. X7 waiting in lane. Frozen going to push right through it. They pass ships in the night. That's going to be a freebie for Frozen and Rops. Five to five. We're all tied up. Either way, Kerrigan's back to his old tricks. Pushing up Banana very quick. Lots of utility. Right through his own smoke, and he's got another one. This is just one of those games for Kerrigan. <laughs> And Ariel, he doesn't want to use a smoke right now, but he, he might have to. Kerrigan is pulling a rotation over. Meanwhile, the rest of Mal Sports is up mid. Great headshot from Frozen. And Ariel under so much pressure. Molotov's into his position. Too many angles. And Mal Sports is just running over the end's defense. Yeah, that is so devastating. And there's three players here now. Finally, and an AWP. This is like everything, every answer. Oh, but surely not. You saw it in your mind's eye. But Kerrigan finally will be denied. <laughs> They have a lot of, the CTs ends have a lot of utility too remaining. And here comes the push and they're beyond Sunny's angle. And so, well, X7 will get a free one. There goes Sunny. There's a one, two setup. And he smoked off, but it's okay. A four versus two situation should be good to go. Yeah, but there's no smoke down at the choke point. Sunny's teammates didn't know that when they rotated over. A chance here for Woxie to pick off one more. Gonna throw the bomb into the site. Go for a repeat. That's a quick shot. That's another quick shot. It's a two on two now. Woxic eventually goes down. It's all on Frozen. He gets one, but what a costly victory. They want to fight this one. Carrigan is back at it again. X7 with the UMP will take him down. So finally, yeah, something see, goes away. It's that easy. You can see that Enzo doing the right thing. They're falling back. They're playing favorable angles and positions. Woxic. Oh, why is he like this? There's not enough manpower to stop this crossfire from being effective. Uh, except for that flashbang is pretty much damn near perfect. Good shot from Woxic, but there it is. It's perfectly done. We'll see exactly what Mouse Sports are capable of in this one. If they can keep up this. I'll have to see if Harrigan has much defense in him. If he's been watching any Ben Tet demos. <laughs> I was no. going to say. <laughs> we'll see if he's got it. He doesn't. Not this round. And even Chris J pinned in towards window room. God, you'd have to get, what, five kills with this one magazine. That's not a clean shot, and he goes down. Pistol round goes to Entz. We'll see exactly what they think is optimal. Too many, oh, that's a nice shot. Some money in the bank. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but he did pick him out of the sky. Oh, wow, 900 bucks. A very good sequence from Frozen. And here comes the flashes for the top mid take. The wrap art, actually. And there's a smoke here, so they're going for the B split. We don't see many of these, and Carrigan's walk through the smoke. How dare you walk through the smoke, Carrigan? Make him plays for days again. He will slow them down. The one for one is worth it. Yeah, but how do you, if you're Chris J, you have to come help your teammate, but Ariel's going to get ever closer. Rops goes down at the eight bomb site, but it doesn't matter. This is the main point of attack. Another smoke in the choke point, and they're playing with their lives here. Chris J, I don't know how he's made the run. Ariel's going to have such a brutal flank. They still don't know he's coming in this direction, but how do you stop him? No one's aware of the possibility. He's got information of where they both are. There goes Frozen. Chris J, surely next. Out of the smoke. He gets one. He gets two. He's held on. 20 seconds of the clock. And Woxic in a one versus two. He's got to traverse across the whole map. Either way, it will be a save, it seems, from Woxic. He realizes he's wasted too much time. So maybe a one dig, maybe one quick headshot at this narrow angle might help out. 
There's the shot. It was missed, and that's a kill for Chris J. Can't convert the second. Rob's going to get close up. He finds one, not the next. That was damn close. That might actually convince Mouse Wolves to give this a go. If they can, try, if they can get a quick kill, if, let's say, Sergei goes down here somehow, they might actually commit to this. But Kerrigan's found a timing through the smoke. He's actually going to be able to make his way through. He's been spotted base close range with a 5-7. He might find a headshot onto the player's site, but it's not to be. But Woxic certainly will take a kill. There's time for this, but they need to start going right now. Great kill from Woxic. They have no idea where Alu is. A chance still. The footsteps are made. Surely they know he's in the site and woxic has got it. Frozen's going to get on the bomb and Mouse Sports, they've stolen one away. Here we go. Attack is underway. Kerrigan not bothered whatsoever. First kill. Oh, it drives by him. He's going to get the second around the edge of the smoke. Sergei finally trades, but Frozen is still here, picked off by the op. They've done just enough damage to make this field quite doable here on the retake. The bomb just planted fresh. Everyone rotating through CT. Woxic with a, such a quick kill to X7. That is so critical. My god, how is this guy so good? He to catch these players coming out second mid, but they'll dodge through the T-apps and he just knows the timings, but still, he will get taken out by X7. And Sergei gets a pick on Banana as well. This is looking good for Enz. Finally, finally a little bit of life shown from the finish side. Frozen gonna back away. Good kill from Chris J. He's gotta fall back as well. They've at least done a little bit. That spam almost connects, just barely off. What a test now for Frozen. He's been playing so well. First kill is his. The second one gets doubled up. Alu cannot trade fast enough. And there's no one from Ents left in Banana to take that fight. Great flashbang to protect Frozen once again. And uh, Frozen's been bounced around by all these Molotovs. He's taken a lot of damage because of the Molotovs. The next seven will finish him off. And the smoke coffins. This is brilliant from Ents. They've really given themselves a chance. And in the nick of time, they get the plumb of Chris J through the smoke, through the coffins. And it's up to Woxic on the rotation with Chris J. And he's never missing. It, that's, that's pretty anticlimactic. Why shy away from it? Oh, push down Banana. That's awkward, though. They almost line up. Spray comes through. They're getting all the kills. They don't even see a single thing. All five frags for Mouseports. Mouseports. Kerrigan getting out there, so many targets lining up, Kerrigan with a triple, and that is absolutely brutal. A bloodbath on Banana, and Chris J with the follow-up from behind, Woxix there for support, there is no way out. Woxix still ready and waiting. He's got the first, misses the second, but Frozen is there and so is Chris J. Enz is being demolished. And it should be all over. It's X7 and a one versus four. Oh my god. A 1v4 and they're gonna push. Oh, oh my god! He's got a free pop to the A site. He has time and he knows it. There's only one play to make, and it's to plant the bomb right now. And he will have time for a post plant. Jason, this this could be a clutch on, like in the making right now from X7. He's picked up the AWP, but Carrigan, he's got the off angle. He's nailed it, and that's it. Mouse Sports, they came <laughs> back against Tai Lu, and they've won against Enz. I cannot believe that they've done this. What a beautiful run from Mouse Sports. And they look so happy, already celebrating while the defuse was yet to be completed. Who else to finish it off but Carrigan with the clutch, with the headshot, finally on X7. Ladies and gentlemen, your grand champions of CAC 2019, it's Mouse Sports.